Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So this is going to be lesson number three about Redis. And in this lesson, we are going to learn about Redis data types. So as you can see on the right hand side, these are all the data types which are supported by Redis. So in this lesson, we are going to focus only on strings. So strings are one of the like easiest uh, to understand data types on Redis. And Redis, here you can see, you know, let's just go to string and try to understand what string is. So Redis strings are just stored as a sequence of bytes. So basically anything which you want to store, it is going to get stored as a sequence of bytes. However, uh, it's not only limited to string, you can literally uh, save whatever you want to save. And also the limit to store a string is quite high. So I think there is a limit here. Yeah, you can see the limit is around 512 MB of single string, which you can store here. So let me show you how it works. Uh, how we are going to go to Redis uh, client and then let's see all the keys which are currently available. So if I do keys space star, th this is going to show me all the keys which are currently available. So you can see we have zero uh, keys. So now we are going to write some data. So in order to write data, I'm just going to use set command. So the data which I'm going to write is string uh, type of data. So we are going to use set command and then we are going to give a key uh, key uh, so key can be like, uh, basically you can give, give any name which you want. So in this case, let's say I'm going to give user one and the value uh, can be any value which we want to save with reference to uh, this key. So let's say I want to, uh, I want to store as user name is Vikas, then I'm going to store age is 34 or whatever you, if you want to store more info, you can store more information. So for example, let's say, I want to, um, I don't know, I want to store salary, I can do that as well. I want to store bonus information, I can do that as well. Okay, and once we hit enter, now this, uh, this information has been stored as a string. Now let's say if I want this information back, I can just do get user one, and then I'm able to get all this information. Now remember, this is, uh, this is just a string. So let's say if you want to, uh, convert it to any different data type uh, in our application. So we have to handle those things manually. So similar way we can in fact uh, store a dictionary as well uh, using set command. However, we have to convert dictionary data type to uh, dictionary data type to string first. Okay, so if you are not familiar with dictionary, dictionary is like JSON. Okay, so JSON and dictionary uh, kind of data if you want to store, you can do that uh, using set command as well. So now let's try to understand how we can do the same operation, how we can store the same information using uh, Python. Okay, so I am going to show you how we can do that using Python as well. But I guess before we move on to that, let's uh, see some of the other information which we can, you know, which is useful here. So now one thing is uh, Redis uh, string data type supports lots of commands. So I have list of all the commands which is supported by uh, this data type. So now, uh, rather than going each of the command, let's try to understand some of these commands. So uh, this string data type is quite useful and you can also use it you know, for a counter as well. So for example, let's say you are developing some application and you have kind of, uh, maybe you are keeping track of levels. So in that case, uh, let's say once a user crosses or completes one level, you want to increment the level information by one or maybe by some value. So you can do that kind of thing as well. So in that case, we can do INCR increment and then we can uh, give a key name. So key name, let's say is going to be level. And now once I hit enter, so level has been set to one. Now, if I want to get the value of level back, I can always do get level and I'm going to get one. Now let's say I do in INCR level again hit enter now levels uh, levels value has been incremented by one okay so now it is two if i do increment level again now it is three if i do get level i'm going to get value of three okay but now let's say if i want to increment the value of level by two or by three each time so in that case i can do increment by and i can do level increment it by three so in this case earlier old value was three now new value is six now let's say I want to increase it again by three. So now I can increase it again by three. And if I want to, anytime I want to refer the value of this, I can just do get level and then I'm going to get this value back. 
and let's say if I want to do set level uh, 20 can I do that yes I can do that so get level you can see I got the information 20 even though it is a string but you are still able to increment the value of this so for example let's say if I do increment level you can see I'm getting 21 so even though this value is stored as a string however Redis data type is smart enough it understands that we want to increment the number increment the number and we are using it more like a counter uh, so that is how it works now let's do one thing let's uh, do set uh, name and I'm going to give my name and do name increment name now here you can see if we store uh, if we store a string in that case it understands that it cannot be you know obviously it is a string and it cannot be incremented so it is going to give you the error so it understands and it is smart enough to perform these operations okay now there are some limitations uh, which I already told you that we can store maximum of 512 MB in a string so that is quite a huge number I, I have never seen uh, such large uh, string okay so uh, we can do that and also now one important thing is we can also set uh, we can also set expiry uh, value while setting uh, while setting any keys value to the string so for example let me do one thing let me clear the screen first and let me flush all the data okay and let me clear the screen again let's see right now we do not have any key so now what I will do is I'm going to set uh, a key which is called name and I'm going to give it a value of my name okay and now I'm going to set another key which is called let's call it age and I'm going to give it a value of uh, 20 and also I'm going to set up some expiration value so I, I don't want this value to exist in database let's say after uh, 20 seconds or let's say after 10 seconds okay what happens giving some error oh yeah so uh, you also need to use ex uh, key for ex keyword for setting up the expiration uh, in seconds so I'm going to write expire this key after 10 seconds okay so if I do get age you can see I'm getting the value but if I let's say do age again after a few seconds I'm still getting the value but if I do it after 10 seconds I'm not going to get any value because this key is going to get auto expired so let's try it again now you can see it's been more than 10 seconds and if I do get age we are not going to get any value so this operation or expiration is quite useful when you want to set up uh, some session duration or session default session time so you can use expiration while storing the session information so that is how it is uh, useful or it is used now uh, let's do one thing uh, let's move on to python and then we are going to do the same operation whatever we did using uh, using python so uh, first of all you need to install redis uh, so make sure you you do pip install redis now I have already done it so in my case redis uh, client is already installed you can see it is saying requirement already satisfied so once redis client is installed in that case we are going to create a redis object and we are setting redis dot strict redis this is the syntax of setting a connection so I'm setting host equal to this is the IP address where Redis is installed. So in this case, uh, Redis is installed on this server. I put it, this information and Redis listens on 6379 port by default. So that is the port which I'm using. Now, once the connection is successful, after that, I'm going to use this Redis client object and going to call set method to set the value of name to Vikas okay now you can set uh, set it to whatever value you want in this case let's say let's say we want to set it to john and then if you run it uh, result is going to be true so result true is equal to you know something similar uh, let's say if i do here if i do uh, let's say if i set gender to male in that case you can see here we get response of okay from the ready cli now if we are using it uh, through using python redis client in that case we get a response of true it means the value has been set uh, successfully now if we want to read this value we want to see what was the name set to in that case we can do that by using redis client uh, dot get method and then we need to give the key name hit enter you can see we have got uh, the output which is john 
Now uh, see this, this output is in, in binary format. So if you want it in string format, you can decode it. So now this is in string. Now let's do one thing. Uh, let's try to store some uh, dictionary information or dictionary data type in a Redis uh, string. And let's see how that is going to work. So first of all, what I will do is let me write it here as user one info. And then I'm going to just store some information such as uh, username. I'll call it Vikas. And then I'm going to set up first name and let's call it so I'm just showing you how you know you are going to access uh, Redis if you are uh, using Python uh, to develop your application okay now let's say because in in uh, while you are dealing with you know, application data your data can be either you no know, most probably it is going to be a JSON sort of data and you should be able to understand how you can write or read the information uh, you know JSON type of information from uh, Redis so uh, now you can see this is uh, this is JSON data type and we can also see the data type of this user1 info I'm just going to comment other lines for now now if I run it we are getting some error because we have forgot to put uh, semicolon uh, sorry comma here now you can see this is a dictionary data type so dictionary in python means it is a json data type okay now we are going to write this uh, data so in that case let's say uh, the key which i'm uh, i'm going to set it is going to be called user colon one okay now uh, previously whenever we were setting the key name we were just giving a single word however you can the key uh, key name can be anything uh, mostly let's say if you are uh, storing user information in that case you can store user uh, followed by uh, followed by column colon and then followed by maybe uh, user id or maybe employee id or things like that okay so in this case i'm just calling it user one so this is the key name and the value which i want to set is called user one info now do you think it is going to run or properly or it is going to give us the error let's see so here you can see if i run it it is giving us the error and the error it is giving us that it was expecting a string data type but we actually given a dictionary data type so it is not really able to process it not able to write to redis because we know uh, we are using set command and uh, set command is only going to write string uh, to this okay so in this case let's do one thing now we are going to convert uh, we are going to convert user1 info to string so i'm going to use string method here now here you can see we have got the output as true which means a uh, string has been successfully written uh, against this key now i want to also get the information back so i'm going to use redis client.get.decode and going to run it here you can see we have got the information back now the information which we read from uh, redis is it in uh, is it is it a dictionary or is it a string so let's see that as well so i'm going to store it in output and then we are going to write type output so here you can see by default the data or the output which we received it was in string format so now what i'm going to do is we want to convert it back to a json right so in that case i'm going to use uh, import json okay and we are going to do json dot loads output and i'm going to call it uh, json output equal to and then print json output now it is going to give us error again and let's look at the error here you can see it is saying that expecting property name enclosed in double quotes and the reason for the error is let's do this print output here again and here you can see this is not really a proper json format because json is uh, uh, all the key information is stored in double quotes now here it is a single quote so first of all we need to replace all the single quote with double quote so i'm going to do that here itself i'm going to replace single quote with double quote okay so this is again all python stuff 
since this lesson is not about uh, python so i'm not really going into much detail about uh, python but yeah, if you know basics of python you'll be able to understand what i'm doing now in this case it should work fine here you can see it is working fine uh, because we first converted all the single code to double code now we store the information and then using json loads we loaded the information as json if you want to double check it you can do type json underscore output and you can do json underscore output here as well so dictionary yeah we need to sorry we need to print it as well so here you can see uh, this is the data which we had previously it was string and after uh, after using json.loads now the new data type is dictionary so this is how you can uh, write the data to redis and also get it back using redis cli or using python uh, client now if you want to interact with redis you can do that using java or any other programming language as well but uh, in this lesson or in this tutorial mostly we are going to do everything using python so we have completed uh, we have completed one data type which is string now a string also supports lots and lots of commands if i really start going through all of these commands this playlist is really going to be you know quite lengthy so i'm not going through all the commands but here you can see uh, these are the commands which are uh, commonly used so you can always go to redis.io commands and you can uh, see these these commands so most of the purpose most of the things which we uh, you know usually perform on uh, on strings are available here so for example generally in in the application uh, we have some string and we want to append more string into it or in uh, some cases we have a string and we want to pull some information out of that string uh, or we want range we want to get some range of characters so we can do those kind of uh, operations by using redis commands so please go through these redis commands it is going to help you a lot now uh, during our course we will see if we really want to go through some of these commands but for now i'm just going to park it and if we have some time later on we are going to go into uh, each of these commands in little uh, more detail so that's all in this video we just wanted to wrap up uh, string data type so in upcoming video we are going to cover all the remaining data type as well thank you so much for watching if you have any question feel free to write in the comment box if you have any suggestion feel free to write in the comment box Thank you so much for watching.